Hello, and welcome to Parasoft JTest Unit Test Assistant. Today, you will be installing and setting up your IntelliJ IDE to use JTest and the Unit Test Assistant. First, you will install JTest into IntelliJ, then activate the trial, and finally, launch the Unit Test Assistant views. So let's go ahead and get started. You should have already downloaded JTest and have it unzipped on your system. To install JTest into your IntelliJ IDE, click on the File menu, then click Settings. In the Settings dialog, select Plugins. Look for the icon that looks like a little gear, click on that, and choose Install Plugin from Disk. In the File Browser dialog, locate the Parasoft plugin zip on your file system. It'll be located in the JTest installation directory where you unzipped JTest. Under Integration, then IntelliJ, and choose the zip. We're going to start with the Parasoft plugin zip. So click OK. And then we're going to repeat that for the other zip in the folder. So once both plugins are installed, you'll need to restart IntelliJ by clicking on the Restart IDE button. Make sure you choose to restart. After IntelliJ has restarted, you'll need to accept the license agreement to proceed. The Parasoft plugin will ask if you'd like to send usage information to us so that we can continue to improve JTest based on your usage of the tool. The JTest plugin will also notify us that it needs the location of the JTest engine. Let's click OK to set this up now. In the Settings dialog, enable the JTest engine and browse to the folder where you extracted JTest before. When you're all done, be sure to click Apply to save the settings. Now, let's activate the trial. To do that, expand the arrow next to License, and then choose Activation Code. You should have received the activation code via an email. So enter the email address where you received the code, and include the code itself. When you're ready, click Redeem Code. A valid email and activation code pair is required to activate the trial. If you have any issues while redeeming the activation code, please contact Parasoft. Finally, let's check the Unit Test Assistant preferences by clicking on Unit Test Assistant. There are several preferences that can be modified as needed. Now is a good time to review these preferences and change them based on your testing needs. You can also reset these settings if needed. Go ahead and apply those changes to save them and click OK. To leverage the power of the Unit Test Assistant, you will need to interact with several different views, which will provide you with useful information about the code as you create and execute your tests. You can launch the views by clicking on the Parasoft menu option, then Show View, Unit Test Assistant. You'll need the other views too. So repeat this process to show the recommendations, Parasoft coverage, and impacted unit tests views.
The unit test assistant view at the bottom is a real-time context-aware view that dynamically changes based on the code that you're interacting with. This view contains certain unit testing actions that can be performed to help you unit test your code. The recommendations view will contain recommendations made by the unit test assistant to help you improve your tests and address common testing issues. This view will populate with recommendations after unit tests have been executed. You can interact with the recommendations view to quickly apply updates to your tests. The Parasoft coverage view displays code coverage information for a particular project, package, file, or method once tests have been executed. This view will help you identify gaps in your code coverage based on your tests. And finally, the impacted tests view identifies and runs an optimized suite of tests based on local code changes. There you go. Your initial setup is done and you've activated your JTest trial. Your unit test journey has just begun. Thanks for watching.